Now let's see. Let's see. I don't think he likes booze. I don't know why he would have that. So devoid of love of of anything. Oh, lively one I see. Here. What is that? Holy one. Jeez. Uh, uh, oh, 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 they'll get that salt. They'll get those tasty bath salts in there. Just drink it all. Maybe not. Oh, dang. But it seems as if you were nearly saved. Spiritual infections are confusing things, Senor Marston. You don't say, you don't Van Helsing. Understand them properly. But he came back for a minute. I bless the water, but perhaps my faith is not that strong. You need somebody more. who's blind with faith. Time. Every day, more of my people fall as the dead rise in Sepulchre. Then perhaps it's time I put them to rest. Lay them to rest. I don't know too much, Lamb of God. I need to get more into them than I have. You are a blessing in an unusual form. Like, all I know is lay to rest and, uh... Let's see. Bye, guy. I hope... Hope you come back from hell. I guess. I guess that's that's where we're establishing what what that is. Anyway, ah, back to back to business. We're gonna be taken back all the way to. Oh, this is a part. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Like, I mean, un uh, holy water is just essentially the the uh, ba bottle of flame, the Molotov. It's just blue. It's a it's a neat effect, but uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> it's it's just a thing. That's all it really is. It's nothing particularly special about it. It's just effective Molotovs. I mean, I don't think we have like Molotov. Oh, we do. Never mind. Well, we also have some undead bait. So there's also that. Uh, okay, okay. If you all saw saw this part, you know what, what the hell graveyard this is. A very special kind of graveyard. One where a certain person may have died and or been buried here? That was that was actually a pretty important feature if, if you were paying attention like you should. Uh, let's just let's just have them, let's just bait them away over to where I need to go and that, that will make everything work out the way I want it to. Perfect. Perfect. Uh-oh, he doesn't see- he sounds like he's pretty close by, but... Yeah, there he is. Hey, look, one of them's already on fire, and he's headed right at me! He's headed right at me! Nope. Just wait right there. Oh, look at that burnt bat! There was like a bat stuck in the thing! There he goes! There he goes! Bye, Batso! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ow! 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 Senora! No! Por qué? Oh, dude, I- oh, that was lightning! I- I haven't seen- lightning is so rare in this game. I just- I just love that attention to detail, like... Lightning is hard to find outside of- oh. Lightning is hard to find outside of, um... Well, just outside of cutscenes in general, I think. I figure. Oh, boy. No, no. Just get on out of here, let's get out of- safer distance. Let's see. Back up against the wall. Perfect for a zombie apocalypse. Keep keep uh, your back against the wall so that they don't come at you from behind, says Max Brooks. And then he signed off his uh his the rights to his book to Hollywood and they made a a movie that in no way represented the book whatsoever except just hey it had Brad Pitt as a reporter uh, I don't know what more you want in, in your life, but I... <laughs> Relativity to the original content? <laughs> Surely you jest. Don't forget, uh, Peter Grew the Poltergeist. Well, no, Peter the Poltergeist. He didn't belong in the books, obviously. He had no important role to play whatsoever. What, are you stupid? <laughs> A fucking... And I didn't, I didn't, uh, after, like, getting a pallet full of, of some pretty good material, uh, Harry Potter's good as, as, like, startup material, as, like, if you want to get into reading, 
But once you get into, once you actually like become a, a huge fan of the medium, then you start looking elsewhere. Like Harry Potter's, a lot of people are going to fucking hate me for saying this. But God damn it, go over the wall. Be a man. There you go. Oh Jesus. Oh, did I die? No, I'm not dead. I'm about to be though. But unless I get him first. Yeah, a lot of people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but it's Harry Potter's entry-level material. It's great entry-level material, but it's still just that. It's not not nothing too too far out there. Not the most in-depth thing in the world. Like it's it's chock full of MacGuffins, plot holes, errors. It it's fundamental like. Okay, once they introduced the, uh, uh, fuck, what was it called? Once they introduced the time travel mechanic, whatever it was called, the time traveling MacGuffin in Prisoner of Azkaban, that's when, uh, that's when all the rules could have been broken. Because, like, you could go as far back in time as you, f well, like, a good portion is just like, hey, that means that you could have saved Dumbledore, and everybody's reaction is, "Oh well, he wasn't supposed to be saved. He he's supposed to die because he keeps the and because that's the only way Lord Voldemort could have gotten inside." First of all, first of all, the characters, the, the rest of the characters, specifically Professor McGonagall, that she didn't fucking know that that Albus was supposed to die. She didn't know that that Voldemort was supposed to, like, come in anyway. Like, that's bullshit. How can, how can the person with the time-traveling device, like, just read fucking minds, read, read the fucking minds of, like, of both Professor Snape and, like, other people and just say, oh, yep, can't, can't do nothing about it. But, but, Professor, don't you have this, no, nope, can't do nothing, sorry. But you have the thing. Yeah, it's true, but it's like all the way in my locker, and I forgot the password for it. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! I need to return the graveyard because the text tells me so. Text tells me so. Yeah, but I, I speak good English. Oh God! Oh God! It stings! You hear that sizzle? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh dear! Oh dear! Ah, here you go! You're gonna explode! Hey! And that set off a chain reaction. Oh! Oh no! Nope. Wow, I'm surprised that uh, that the special zombie here hasn't uh, thrown off his face yet. Like, is this this graveyard? I hope I hope nothing's wrong with it, cause this is this is taking an effectively long time period. You do not sound like the lady that you are, Missy. You in your raw voice sound like sound like friggin' uh, Carrie. No, not Carrie Fisher. Sound like the girl who played, uh, who played the ex exercised child in The Exorcist. Fuck, I know, I know she, her name is like, it has something to do with like a fish or something. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything right now what her name is, like Linda Birch or something like that. Linda Blair! Linda Blair! I called it! I caught it! I caught myself! I caught myself! Y'all can't, y'all can't deny that I caught myself. Oh boy. Oh boy. But I couldn't foresee this. There we go. Perfect. It's fine. No, it's not fine. There's a Helena Bomb Carter here. Get away from me. Ah, oh, crap. Little house on the prairie. That's what I thought you'd think of your mediocre show. There he is. There's the, my boy. There's that motherfucker who I wish was fucking dead. Oh, boy. Viva la M Mexico, eh? Dear old DeSanta. Adios, amigo. The more, the deeper you are in the earth, the better. Be a fucking piece of monkey raping shit heel. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. Nope. You know that's uh, that's something you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't. I shouldn't be making jokes about monkey rape. M monkeys get rapes all. They uh, get raped. All the fucking time, and I'm being fucking serious here. Like, if you fucking look, like, like, monkeys are the ducks of Africa, okay? Like, they rate each other like fucking nuts. 
like they don't give a fuck and like this is something that was designed out of pure desperation of the reproduction of the of the reproduction of the seer of the uh species come on come on all this talk about rape is distracting me but like they like if you for, if you know anything called the rape rack which is something designed by a really fucked up scientist i can't think of his name right now but like uh, like he was experimenting with like how i like the female uh, the interactions between male and, fe and female primates and like when like you just strapped in a female with her genitals hanging out of male a male monkey will just walk up and fucking rape it because he, he doesn't know what the fuck else to do despite how much like the, the females kicking twisting screaming like it don't give a shit and like it's so fucked up because like the worst part about it is how like how like she'll like if she manages to get pregnant as a result of this uh as a result of, of like the rape rack then she'll just abuse and abandon the children because she never wanted them to begin with. It's it's so such a fucked up thing. Like animals, a lot of them are innocent. A lot of them are innocent. Some of them, fucking assholes. Just like there's like the Simpsons. Like some hey, some animals are just are just mean because of their uh, because of their life, the abuse, uh, a tough childhood. And others are uh, just born jerks. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Simpson. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Uh, good old Simpsons. You know, I was thinking about something that saddened me the other day. And that's that everybody, like, once again, my opinion is that the Simpsons died, like, died, died, like, where they wouldn't have a single good joke, but would have a episode anyway. It was in, like, 2006. But, like, so everybody past 2006 who was born, like, they don't know, they, they'll never understand what it's like to be born in a world where The Simpsons is good. Like, imagine that. They'll n be familiar with The Simpsons, but just remember it as that show that their, their parents and their, f and their older friends would just occasionally watch. It's fucking weird, like, it's weird to think about. I mean, hell, there are probably kids right now watching this, which you shouldn't, because I, I curse a lot and this game's rated M, but, but this, this generation also was just like, yo, fuck the rules. I'm my own man. Very interesting how this, uh, how this next coming generation will turn out. Like, right now, as far as I can tell, a lot of them are real fucking brats, man. Like this next generation, like most of most of my generation, we weren't we were far from the best. Like trust me, we were not even close to the fucking best. That's why that's why I try to avoid the news and shit like all the time. But regardless, like I've no I've noticed that like there aren't as many uh <laughs> Uh, your your Spanish is distracting me from my brain thoughts. But no, like this generate this next coming generation is turning out weird. Like we are, like I said, our generation wasn't perfect, but we did have the convenience of the internet for the longest of times, and that allowed us to like express ourselves, like. It would take more difficult, it would be more difficult to express ourselves. Like, anybody can just record a video or even a, a short film on their fucking phones. Like, I know somebody who did that as a part of their, uh, as a part of their college final project. Like, he recorded his entire thing on, like, this, on, like, an iPhone 5 camera. So, like, you just imagine, like, what entail, uh, what lies for this generation, like, could all this media, all this accessibility, result in just bland, uninteresting thinking? Like, or does it actually give this next generation the opportunity to express themselves in more ways than we can than we can currently think of right now? Because, like, don't forget, vines are a thing now as well. Of course, those are more. I find that the existence of vines and 
the, them being as mainstream as they are. I'd say it's it's more of a fluke than oh no, I fell down. Come on, no. Maybe, but, ooh, he was an ugly motherfucker. Uh, I still took care of you. That's the important thing. Yeah. 